Hello and welcome back to the Study UK series powered by AHZ Associates with yours Ahmed Mohammed Oroji. Today I will be talking about 8 common mistakes that international students make and should avoid while coming to the UK. All international students in the UK have the opportunity to be involved in a different culture. Students gain not just a great experience, but also a valuable knowledge and skills for their future career. As a result, every student should make the most of their international study experience. So let's go deep into the eight common mistakes made by international students and you should avoid if you are planning to study at a UK university. Number one, managing time efficiently. The application process takes a long time to finish in the UK, so it is very important to complete your application on time to avoid frustrations and missing deadlines. Note that application dates are from October to January and that you should apply to UCAS, Universities and College Admission Services in the UK or AHZ, which is a trusted UK university representative, as it will ease the stress of applying and also prevents you from making mistakes in your application. Also, make sure that you have all the relevant English language requirements, such as IELTS, and PTA academics amongst others. Secondly, language and knowledge barriers. It is important to gather all necessary information about your host country before you travel. It will help you focus on what to do and what not to do, as well as prepare for the new change and know what to expect in your institution, the location where you believe in, and the transit systems as well. Make sure you are able to speak and understand English as it's the country's language. You don't have to be fluent, but you can make friends that speak fluently when you come over here and learn as more as you can with time. Thirdly, poor preparation for classes. Most universities use a variety of lectures, seminars and tutorials to engage their students. Lectures are given by professors in a large classroom settings, whereas seminars and lessons are in significantly more private settings. A postgraduate candidate or instructor usually lead tutorials and seminars. You need to attend your classes always. Failure to do so for no reason can lead to suspension or withdrawal of studies. So you have to be fully prepared, fully ready to attend all your lectures. And also, in a lecture, you can usually sit and be silent while taking notes, but don't be shocked if you are called to talk in a lesson. And also, each week, lectures and workshops are completed to ensure all students understand and achieve a certain level of reading. Fourthly, lack of research regarding finances and grants. Most international students researching potential programs neglect the need to first check for scholarship and financial assistance. It should be the first place to look because it will have a massive impact on your savings. Also, you need to know about the living cost in the UK and then have an idea of what you need to budget for your living expenses from the accommodation, utilities and commuting. Managing your budget is very essential. You need a practical budget plan for at least every semester as it will save you from running out of cash or being stranded. The next is parking issues. When coming to the UK for studies, 
a lot of students have trouble deciding what to bring or not as the british weather can be unpredictable and varies based on region and season of the year it's important to have a look at the weather history or condition in your place of study to enable you to gather varieties of clothes for different seasons you can get your winter clothing over here as they take up much space while packing and you can get whatever you want over here as well next is visa problems international students who want to study in the united kingdom must first check if they will require a visa or not to study in the uk they must also check if they meet all the visa requirements failure to do so will result in a visa denial and also this could have negative repercussion on future visa applications so one has to be very careful before applying for visa number seven is unrealistic expectations high expectations can frequently lead to disappointments note that not every day will be wonderful and that you will encounter people who will be unable to please you there will be happy times as well as hard times it isn't all easy and enjoyable but it's all part of the journey being versatile requires stepping out of your daily routine and attempting new experiences learn about new culture try different foods it will give you a strong bond with your new surrounding and you will adapt quickly lastly is not checking working arrangements a lot of students are more concerned about work permits if you want to work while studying you will only be permitted to work part-time and usually for limited hours depending on the type of the visa you have there are a lot of details to consider as you might be limited to working on campus with the institution as your workplace you can also apply for a post-study work visa after your studies but you might not be able to work if specific standards are completed so you have to check all these requirements to be sure that you're good to go it is always wise to be mindful of what might happen and be prepared always ensure you're fully committed when applying for studies internationally at times you get swept up by what others encourage you to do rather than considering what you genuinely desire i hope you avoid making such mistakes and don't hesitate to contact us our consultants are ready to advise guide and support you through your application and your career dream process i wish you best of luck Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon in the next episode. Thank you. Find out more at ahthirdassociates.co.uk.